7.5 billion people live on planet Earth, and that number grows every single day. But planet Earth is not getting any bigger, and won't be able to handle its growing population forever. At a point, the planet will become overpopulated, and resources will be scarce. There is only so much water and food to go around. Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, how many people can Earth sustain? Hello and welcome back to LBQ. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in those comments the topics that you would like to see on this channel. Overpopulation is arguably one of the biggest threats to Earth. According to Paul Ehrlich, a Stanford University biologist, we face resource depletion, species extinction, and a human population so large that as a species we face mass poverty, famine, starvation, and death. Well, that doesn't sound very promising, does it? Ehrlich says the Earth reached its total capacity already in the 1960s and 70s, and since then we've been living on borrowed time. In the 1960s and 70s, scientists were warning about the potential dangers of overpopulation. At the current rate, the population will reach 9.8 billion by 2050 and 11.2 billion by 2100. That's according to the United Nations Population Division. When it comes to 11 billion people, there's actually space for all of us. But the problem is not space, it's resources. Perhaps one of the biggest challenges the global population faces is a lack of fresh water. At the same time, there's only so much food that can be produced. Places like Africa are especially vulnerable to a lack of food and water, yet Africa is expected to see the sharpest increase in population in the world world over the next 35 years. Where food is concerned, most scientists agree that the Earth can sustain anywhere between 9 to 10 billion people. Some say that number could be stretched to 11 billion. But it isn't just food and water we need to worry about when it comes to a growing population. It's the emissions that the growing population produces. The Earth is already showing signs that there could be another global mass extinction on the way. Warming oceans created by increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will kill off marine life that is vital for food supply. Rising oceans and extreme weather caused by a warmer planet will affect coastal cities, which are coincidentally some of the most populated. Changing precipitation patterns could cause decreased precipitation rates in some parts of Africa. No precipitation means no agriculture and very little human habitation. Scientists actually don't know if the world can sustain 11 billion people. If we do reach that number, we need to stabilize the growing population by reducing fertility rates. China invoked a one-child policy, and that brought down fertility rates significantly, while life expectancy is improving. There is evidence to suggest that fertility rates are already slowing down. In the 1960s, the fertility rate was 4.7 babies per woman to 2.6 babies per woman between 2005 to 2010. One way of reducing fertility rates, according to Will Stiffen, an emeritus professor at the Fender School of Environment and Society at the Australian National University, is to raise the status of women. Make women more educated and give them employment, and they will undoubtedly have less children. This is especially true in poorer countries where women don't have the means or the knowledge on how to prevent pregnancies. If those women have had the knowledge and access to contraception, less unwanted babies would be born. We know this because fertility rates in developed countries where women are educated have declined. Our Earth could very well support 11 billion people, and some experts say it could accommodate close to 100 billion. But then there's the question of how many of those people will be living in poverty, with not enough food to go around. 1 billion people on planet Earth are already living with nutrient deficiencies. It's difficult to say what percentage of 11 billion will be. But one thing's for certain, if we do not change our consumption habits and change them quickly, that could have catastrophic consequences. Developed societies need to move away from values like material wealth and switch to a model where societal well-being is considered most important. We have to think about limiting the resources that we consume while still living comfortable lifestyles. One thing that I should also say is that the future will bring technological innovations that could help with the many problems associated with a growing population, like the XC4000, one of the largest buildings that could ever exist. The XC4000 could house up to 1 million people in comfort, with minimal environmental impact. It's basically just a giant skyscraper that 1 million people live in. Cities of the future could consist of clusters of these large structures where 100 billion people could fit comfortably in an area the size of Germany. I should also say that the XC4000 was never meant to be built and would encounter considerable engineering problems. But who knows what ideas the future will bring? Perhaps there will be innovations in food production and cheaper ways to convert salt water into fresh water. That is why it is so difficult to determine how many people the Earth could sustain. In the 1960s and 70s, scientists believed the global population would be doomed in the next 20 years, and 50 years later, we're still here. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobry for Life's Biggest Questions. Want to go on a Life's Biggest Quest? Click the playlist on the screen right now. As always, make sure notifications are turned on, and we'll see you in the next video.